Well, I mean, the Eagles, uh, hey, it's the NFL, man. I, I, I don't like when people say this team doesn't have a shot uh, against another NFL team. It just doesn't work that way in this league. I talk about it all the time. Already. Football 24-7 with NFL insider John McMullen, who's down at Lincoln Financial Field. Eagles Bucks will kick off uh, somewhere around 8.20 tonight. We're all presented by Stateside Vodka. Go to statesidevodka.com. Use that keyword, Jacob. Get 15% off a one-liter bottle. Let's drop into Lincoln Financial Field where John McMullen uh, has arrived. Johnny Mack, welcome in, my friend. How are you, sir? Uh, doing well, Krause. Nice day. A little bit too hot. It seems like Tampa. Uh, it seems like Tampa more than Philadelphia in mid-October. Uh, update us, Johnny Mac, on what you know. I know that you've, uh, de- you're down at the link. Uh, any additions, any surprises, who's in, who's out uh, for both squads? Yeah, the, the Eagles elevated Noah uh, to guy the tight end that they just brought back, and they elevated LaRaven Clark as COVID-19 replacements. Now, the key to that is uh, they only have two players on the COVID-19 list. That's Dallas Goddard, Sue Opeta. So that, by uh, elimination, tells you that Dallas Goddard is not playing tonight. As we speculated all week, the timing was not uh, going to allow him uh, to get through the protocols. If this game were on Sunday, uh, possibility, uh, the fact that it's on Thursday night, unfortunately, the Eagles will be without Dallas Goddard. Johnny Mack, uh, any conversation at all around the Brady? I'm not even sure I should call it an injury. What do we know? Will it affect him at all? Uh, talk to me about that. Yeah, he banged up his thumb a little bit when he was throwing for 400-plus yards and five touchdowns against the Dolphins. So, you know, hey, hey, you got to see, first of all, Bruce Arians has said he's been through a lot more. He's played through a lot more. Even to go back to last season, comes out, he had that knee injury, played through it, won a Super Bowl. So um, I wouldn't hold my hope that he wasn't going to be Tom Brady uh, because of a little banged up thumb. Um, and that's how the Bucs are approaching it. And, and there was never any doubt he was going to play. Maybe the bigger thing is that short week, and we always talk about Tom Brady's age, and we always talk about some point Father Time's going to show up. Maybe the Eagles left tickets for him at will call. I, I don't know, but it, it takes a while to, to bounce back from an NFL game and even somebody like Fletcher Cox told me this week that he starts feeling normal after a Sunday game about Thursday. And here we are on Thursday, and there's another game. And Tom Brady's obviously even older, been through more from a physical perspective. So maybe the fact that he didn't get a chance to get his full week of recovery is the bigger deal. I know that you've been talking about that very point uh, Johnny Mack here on Football 24-7. I'm sure you th- you had that conversation with Jody Mack on Birds 365. Uh, we were on location today with the middle uh, with Harry Mays uh, and Barrett Brooks. The conversation came up uh, about this game on a Thursday. And the fact that it is a Thursday just might present or provide a chance for the Eagles to come not only compete, but maybe steal a game. Well, I mean, the Eagles, uh, Hey, it's the NFL, man. I, I, I don't like when people say this team doesn't have a shot uh, against another NFL team. It just doesn't work that way in this league. I talk about it all the time. Um, as opposed to college where you know there's certain matchups on certain weeks, certain teams are, are going to win. It's just as simple as that. Uh, in the NFL, it doesn't work that way. But I will say if Tampa Bay shows up, and I've talked about this with you during the week, and they play their A, a game, they're going to win the football game. They're more talented. They're better. 
the reigning Super Bowl champions, uh, even with the injuries they have. Uh, but if they don't play their A game and they have a, a, a poor outing, um, the Eagles could steal it. I, I mean, this is the NFL, as I said. There's any given Sunday is a cliche. It's a Thursday. Um, in COVID world, you never know what day we're going to play. But any given day, any NFL team can beat another NFL team. There's a lot of good players. And that's what Tom Brady said. There's a lot of good players on the Philadelphia Eagles. And whether people recognize that or not, same thing in every NFL, any every other NFL city. Um, these are not, this is not the Harlem Globetrotters against the Washington Generals. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't like when people go down that route. Yep, one last thought from John McMullen, who is live down at Lincoln Financial Field. Uh, of course, we'll check in with Johnny Mack at halftime, and then you'll see John McMullen on the live post game show across the Jacob Media YouTube channel and, of course, on 6abc.com with Derek Gunn, Mark Farzetta, Devin Caney, and Brandon Graham will be uh, in for Lane Johnson tonight on the live post game show. Uh, Johnny Mack, last thought uh, about head coach Nick Sirianni uh, coming into uh, this game, another first. Uh, for the head coach, uh, this is a big stage. I think there's a lot of pressure on Nick. What do you think? Uh, no, I, I don't think there's uh, a lot of pressure on Nick. In fact, that you can kind of look at the opposite way. And I know our buddy from Birds 365, Ryan Paganetti, looked at it. You know, he loves being the underdog. He loves going into a game where nobody thinks you're going to win the football game. He thinks you play loose. Uh, he thinks you, you, there's uh, less pressure on you. Um, he said he went through it six times with the Eagles in the playoffs, and the Eagles had tremendous, obviously, playoff success uh, during the Doug Peterson era. Um, it, in a lot of ways, there's less pressure because nobody expects expects them to beat this team. And if Nick Sirianni pulls something off, uh, he's going to be the toast of the town, at least till they get on the field again. All right, good stuff from John McMullen checking in from down at Lincoln Financial Field. Johnny Mack, uh, good stuff, brother. We'll catch up with you a little bit later on tonight. Go Birds, Johnny Mack. All right, thanks, Krause. All right, thank you, Johnny Mack. Good stuff from John McMullen, who's down at the stadium. Again, we'll talk to Johnny Mack at halftime here on the Jacob Media YouTube channel. Meanwhile, we are live at Screwballs. Uh, one lucky winner will leave uh, Screwballs tonight at 7 o'clock. We'll send them right down to the link. We'll drive them down to the stadium, and they will enjoy the game tonight as Tom Brady comes into town. See you next time, everybody.